Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's Danielle Naomi. Do not forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as to click the notification bell so you can be notified every time your homegirl uploads. In today's video, as you can see from the title, this gorgeous unit is from Curly Me Hair. They sent me a straight lace frontal unit in 18 inches. This is what it's looking like. This is what it's giving and I pretty much showed y'all how exactly I get rid of flyaways and install this unit as well as like a mini review and so far so good to be honest I don't have any problems with this unit I would definitely purchase it with my own coins and if you'd like to do that as well the links will be in the description box for you to do so so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video so after successfully plucking the unit off camera, I've got everything how it needs to be. And before I install, I always like to make sure I eliminate all flyaways, put my baby hairs out so it's easier for me to form them instead of having to take them out on camera, which is another set of time that I have to spend. So I'm using my rust, and yes, I do use a lot. It is a hairspray, as you can see, sold at Sally Beauty. And so I usually just use my rusk and hot comb to go in on straight hair, just to make sure that all the flyaways are gone and everything is nice and flat and how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna just keep doing that. As you can see, one side is like, pretty much flat and everything is nice and together there are no flyaways on this side doing this side now and it only takes literally about a minute to do this it shouldn't take you any longer than that because flyaways are easy to get rid of especially when just using a hot comb and some hairspray it isn't rocket science y'all so Now that I've done that and the flyaways are gone on both sides and it's flat on both sides, I'm gonna take my comb and now part out the baby hairs that I'd like to use or the hairs that I'd like to make into baby hairs, which are usually the pieces in the front here. So I'm going to do that and then I'll speak to you once I get to the next step. now that I've created the baby hairs that I want, I'm going to go back in uh, with the same flyaway situation using my rusk. And this time I'm going to just focus on pulling the excessive hairs forward that I've brought out. and pushing the hairs that I don't need back into the hairline. So it's gonna look like that. And once it's done, it's supposed to look somewhat like this. I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut off the excessive hairs because you don't need them too long anyways. And I'll see you in the next clip when I have the unit on, ready to do the baby hairs. Now that I've shown you how exactly I get my flyaways to, you know, be gone, lay down, it's time to get into the baby hairs. And this is probably the easiest portion of it. And this is exactly how I will ensure that my wigs lay down and stay down. It is a glueless unit. So as you can see, it doesn't have glue on it but it's like really flat down and i have a cap here but i didn't bring it all the way over here please don't ask why but it's a cap underneath and i'm gonna take my got to be glue gel in the black tube and the gel is on the toothbrush 
and I'm gonna just go in with the baby hair portion honestly like I said before this is like the easiest thing to do it's super quick super simple it doesn't take rocket science all you have to do is just literally do your baby hairs like you would do them on your own head with your own edges girl it's that simple and not easy except for the part where you probably have to cut them and I mean cutting them is no problem for me now because of how many times I've done this but you can cut them too short and mess it up so try not to cut it too short just cut it to your liking to how you think fits you best or suits you the best and once I do the baby hairs I do go in with my blow dryer and that's just to ensure that the hair stay in place nothing's moving nothing's going anywhere and yeah let me just continue this and I'm gonna put some background music in it this time I won't slow it down sorry I won't speed it up I'll keep it in real time just so you can see like how long it takes to do the baby hairs which isn't that long to be honest with you it doesn't take that long of a time to do them at all so let me just go ahead and show you how I get things done Okay, so pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and do these edges off camera because they take the longest to do and I don't want to hold y'all up. I'm gonna get into straightening when I come back, so I'll be back in the next clip. But everything is pretty much to my liking. As you can see, I finished doing, you know, the sideburn pieces on each side. Now all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and comb out the hairs, make sure, you know, any shed hairs that are in the wig are gone. So it's just one so far. I'm gonna bring everything forward and just keep combing. And honestly, I'm not getting shedding at all. It was literally just that one shed hair and I've yet to get another so that's pretty good I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and this flat iron is a babyless titanium pro that you could get from Sally's I love this hair actually it's really silky straight and it's as thick and as thin as I want it to be it's not too thick and it's also not too thin 
The straightening portion should be a breeze because the hair is pretty much already straight. This is how it looked when it came out the box and I hadn't straightened it after. This is my first time straightening it and as you can tell, this is some really good hair because it's straightening and there are no flyaways on the side. When you like take a good look, when I'm finished, I'll show you what I'm talking about or I'll tell you what I mean. But there are no flyaways that are like super crazy and noticeable. This is just like a really good quality wig and we just love that for her because their hair is always affordable, their wigs are always affordable and this is an 18 inch unit and I think I may end up cutting it because I just want it to give off like a really really natural finish so I may cut it or razor comb it but either way it's gonna be cut in layers like so just so it looks like more natural than it already is and a tad bit more fuller if i were to like choose any hairstyle that i'd probably wear in the 11th grade or the 10th grade this would be it just something nice and straight and easy and quick to style nothing crazy and this is what this hair is giving so for all my girls out there who just want something nice and quick and professional looking this is the unit for you and just going through now made me realize how easy it was to style this wig so easy so quick and so simple i love it so yeah that's pretty much it if you'd like to purchase i would definitely recommend i'm giving this unit a 10 out of 10 as i said before it's 18 inches so that pretty much is like where my boobs are at in a half <laughs> and uh, yeah love it so much the links for this unit will be in the description box thank you so much curling me here for sponsoring this video and without further ado i'll see y'all in my next one